Okay, let's do this. Um, this is the FMOD part of the video. We're going to talk about how we incorporate FMOD into Unity. So the first thing you need to do is go to the FMOD website, download the FMOD Studio, and also download FMOD Unity Integration. Once you do that, you go Assets, Import Package Custom, navigate to where the package is. In my case, it's in my software unity and then i'm just going to go to my packages and i'm done but I, I open up somewhere not here fmod data i install the fmod uh unity studio uh, fmod integration once you do that you'll see that you have fmod at the top here first thing you need to do is go fmod editor settings you'll have an error that's because this is going to be cleared up so it's going to be blank Mine won't be allow me to be blank because I've already set it up, so it's going to be blank over there. So what you need to do is open up FMOD. And in my case, I've already got a project, but you're going to, you can create a new project by clicking new. I'm just going to open up my existing project. Okay. And once you're in here, you want to save the project and you want to go and build the project. Once you've done that, go back to Unity, go to Browse, and browse to where that project is. So wherever you put on your desktop, mine's going to be inside the prepare 2019 classes, FMOD Unity. And here, there we go. And you can just find the FMOD project, open it up. The error will go away, and you'll have all of these options available. Now, just a quick side note if you want to, when you play the game, you normally you'll have this debug screen at the top here on so if you go into your options here and it says debug overlay if i enable that this is what it looks like when you first install it wrong place again i did it again well it's up here there's this debug overlay there you go You'll see that you've got this little debug screen which tells you about or what channels it's playing, what the audio is like, what the decibels, that kind of thing. So in this case I don't want to have that so I'm just going to disable it because it can get a little bit in the way. So I'm going to go to overlay and I'm going to go disable. Okay, let's talk about, let's start with the music first and work our way back. Actually let's start with the easy stuff first. We're going to start with the projectile. There's my bullet. The smaller, it's really way out of there, like in the way. Just minimize that for now. And I'm gonna, you'll, I'm gonna open up the script and I'm gonna sh play the sound effect for you. So I'm gonna go into player. I'm gonna play this. This is the shot and this is the hit. So the one I'm gonna show you now is the hit. My volume is quite a high up. There we go, you can hear it playing, and then the, the shot is a combination of sounds. So if I click here, I created a list of multiple audio files. The way you do that is really, really simple. All you do is go to your assets, grab all the audio you want, drag it into the timeline. And the moment you do that, you'll have a list here, and you can just right click and say, set play percentage down here, and then you can tell it what sound it should play and what are the chances of that sound playing. So I just made my shots 50-50 over here. And now we can go back and listen to the bullet hit. Okay, so we can go and listen to, uh, so in the script itself, in Visual Studio Code, we will see that I'm doing an on-collision enter. I, over here, you just this is how you simply do it. You don't have to insert any namespaces at the top. All you do is say fmodunity.runtimemanager.play one shot. And for most of you, I don't need to explain what play one shot means. But for those of you who might be watching this video randomly and you're not one of my students, play one shot is when the sound plays once. You just tell it to play once. There are other options here like dot play, dot stop, all that stuff. And what audio are we playing? I've created a variable here which is just a string. It's a reference to where the path of the audio is. So I'm saying play that audio at this object's position. So that um, I set up this sound to be a 3D sound so that uh, as the shot leaves the player, it's gonna, if it hits further away, you're going to be, be barely hear it. And if, you get, if you're closer to it, you'll hear it a lot louder. So that's what we're doing. We're doing fmod 
unity.runtimemanager.play one shot. Okay, so that actually plays when we start the game. Hopefully, you can hear the audio. I'm playing off my speaker, so it's quite crappy. But as the bullet hits there, you can hear it hitting the impact sound. Now, where did I get that sound from? So if I select my prefab, my bullet, you'll see over here I've got this event player cube bullet hit. The way I got that was I went to fmod, event browser, and it opens up, and you'll see all the events that you have. This is a folder structure of everything you have in fmod. So I have music and I have player, and in Unity I have the events, I have music, and I have player. So in the player here, I have my bullet cube hit. All I did was, you'll see event player cube. All I did was click the little clipboard icon here. I went back to the player, I saw the projectile, and I pasted it in here. There we go, and that's how we played the sound. The next one is gonna be the player, and we'll just end with the music. Again, I've got a little heading for sounds, and I've got playing the jump sound, and playing the shoot sound. Let's go look at what that looks like in the code. See again two strings, one for jump audio, one for sorry, one for jump audio, one for shoot audio. And if we go down here where the actual fire happens, I instantiate the bullet like you normally would. And then over here again, fmod unity dot runtime manager dot play one shot. And then over here it's playing the shoot sound. And if you just look up here again, fmod unity dot runtime manager dot play one shot and play the jump sound. That is. The extent of how you implement code in uh, the FMOD in Unity. And the last one is where I'm actually going to be sending information to FMOD, telling it to play a certain value. So I just created a script that plays the ambient track again. Again, all I've got is a reference to where the music is. What's nice about when you create it like this, you can actually see that it's, an ambi it's in the ambient folder, it's a 2D track, and it is streaming, and one shot is false. So there's a lot of information you can get from this. So let's go look at what this sounds like on inside the F mod. If I play the song, back the volume on this a little bit. And as long as the damage amount over here is over 50, it won't play anything. But if I put this up to like 10, you'll hear the audio has switched over. And if I put this back to 100 it goes back to the exploring music so this is these two music tracks are being set up based on the player health so anything under 49 is going to play the danger music anything above 50 50 and onwards is going to play it so again you can pick any value between uh, and then you can even pick 49 it takes us there if i select this and change it to 50 it goes back to the other one that's it really there's nothing else to this video i hope this helps um if you have any questions just don't hesitate to drop comments thank you so much for watching